This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Deco Leaves. This design is stitched by first creating a series of triangular shapes within your quilting space. And you're stitching this from edge to edge. And this is one of those designs that's really tricky to kind of illustrate in a square because it's really intended to be stitched in a rectangle. But I'm going to do my best. Really what you want to do is just stitch a series of triangles and then you're going to go in and echo that triangle one time so that way it builds it up and really makes it stand out on the surface of your quilt. Then travel stitch into the middle of that triangle and stitch this wiggly vine shape. Now the last step of the design is to simply stitch and fill the space between the vine and the edges of the triangle with these straight lines and these are kind of diagonally spaced so that way they complement both the curvy vine line and the triangular lines. I really was inspired by Art Deco uh, architecture and designs for this particular design simply because it, it's really an interesting combination of curves and straight graphic lines of um, you know, just different design elements that we don't always see in quilts. And it's really, really interesting to play with this and play with these textures. Once you fill one side with those uh, kind of diagonal lines, you're going to travel stitch the opposite side and start stitching them so that they create almost, um, if the vine wasn't there, they'd almost create another V shape, almost like they're coming together there. And this makes that vine, that wiggly curvy line right in the center, really stand out nicely. Now here's the area that you're going to have to kind of use your imagination on. Imagine that this is a full triangle and I'm stitching another vine down the center of it. And then I will fill in this side with more of those radiating diagonal lines. And it creates a beautiful effect on the surface of your quilt and this is going to look really wonderful in the sashing or borders of your quilts. It will be really interesting to experiment with different lines. You know, you don't have to necessarily have them radiate exactly this way. You could have them arch more upwards, you could have them go straight up and down and that will change the effect of the design. It's really worth experimenting with and I will try and have a graph of this designs at least drawn in a rectangle so that way you can see what it will look like over six or seven inches of your border or sashing. So make sure to check out the link at the bottom of this video so that way you can see that graph. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish Deco Leaves. For over 350 videos on free motion quilting, plus many tools and supplies to make this easier on your home sewing machine, check out the Free Motion Quilting Project at freemotionproject.com.